Welcome back to Eccentric Cosmos. Today, we have a captivating story that delves into the depths of the ocean. Join us as we uncover the mystery surrounding the recent collapse of the Titan, a deep-sea exploration submersible. So sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. In the vast expanse of the deep ocean, an uncharted realm that holds countless secrets. In this unexplored abyss, the Titan was once a symbol of mankind's quest for knowledge. But on a fateful day, disaster struck as Titan's hull collapsed under tremendous water pressure. Today, we'll try to understand what went wrong and why the consequences were so catastrophic. To truly grasp the magnitude of the Titan's plight, imagine this, the vessel was situated a mind-boggling 3,500 meters below sea level. That's deeper than the eye can see. The weight of the water above it would have been equivalent to that of the iconic Eiffel Tower, tens of thousands of tons pressing down relentlessly. But what happens when a submarine hull collapses? When a submarine hull collapses, it moves inward at an astonishing speed of 1,500 miles per hour or 2,414 kilometers per hour. That's equivalent to 2,200 feet or 671 meters per second. Just imagine that. In a mere millisecond, the entire structure crumbles. To put it into perspective, a human brain takes around 25 milliseconds to respond to a stimulus. Our rational response, from sensing to acting, is believed to take about 150 milliseconds. It's truly mind-boggling how fast the hull collapses. But the collapse is only the beginning of the Titan's demise. As the hull implodes, the air trapped inside auto-ignites, resulting in a powerful explosion. The heat generated is so intense that human bodies incinerate and turn to ash and dust instantly. It's a devastating chain of events that occurs within the blink of an eye. Now, let's talk about pressure resistance and the critical role it plays in deep sea exploration. Submersibles and submarines are designed with shapes like spheres and cylinders, because these geometric forms can withstand crushing pressures far better than others. In the case of the Titan, it had to endure a staggering 370 bars of pressure in seawater at the depth it was exploring. Any flaw or defect in the hull could result in an instantaneous implosion. So, the question arises, how do we determine the threshold at which an irregular shape becomes a defect? Most industries utilizing underwater vessels at depths of a few hundred meters opt for steel hulls. These steel structures have a threshold below 0.5% of the vessel's diameter for out-of-circularity, which helps maintain their integrity. But the Titan is different. Its hull is composed of a complex carbon fiber titanium composite. And with that, we conclude our exploration into the Titan's tragic collapse. The depths of our oceans hold countless marvels and dangers, and the pursuit of knowledge often comes with risks. Join us next time as we embark on another extraordinary adventure through the eccentric cosmos.